Welcome into part two of Weather and the Dispatcher. I'm Pip Hastings, chiming in from the editing room. Now, no matter where you work or where your planes fly, a dispatcher in the United States is required to be familiar with weather and notify the pilot in command of all weather along the route that is flown and according to CFR 121-601 or 121-599. Now, one of the tools that we use to fulfill those regulations is what's called a METAR, or a weather observation. Just like a weatherman on TV or radio will provide you with current conditions, a METAR does the same thing for pilots and dispatchers. So let's take a look at the METAR and how to read it. A quick note if you're just getting into dispatching or aviation, the Aviation Weather Center from the National Weather Service is the standard for monitoring weather and is a fabulous resource and most importantly, it's free. So let's get into the METAR. Let's take a look at a METAR from Chicago O'Hare Airport, my home base. That was recorded earlier today. The METAR says, Chicago O'Hare Airport observation recorded on the 16th at 1951 Zulu. Winds from 110 degrees at 10 knots. Visibility, 10 statute miles. Few clouds at 19,000, scattered at 24,000 and broken at 30,000 feet. Temperature of eight degrees Celsius and dew point of two degrees Celsius with the altimeter 2994. Let's take a second to briefly break it down and explain each of those numbers. The first indicator that you'll see is the identifier for each airport. In this case, KORD, which is the ICAO approved identifier for Chicago O'Hare Airport. Next, you'll see the day and what time the observation was recorded. Wind is recorded first in the direction that it's coming from. Notice it's coming from 110 degrees, so a east-southeast wind with the sustained or constant wind speed in knots with gusts if necessary. Notice the visibility is 10 statute miles. So what that, that is saying is it's a really good day to see across the horizon. So I can see 10 statute miles away if I'm at the airport and that's where that observation is coming from. Now you'll see that also that's got clouds as well. We read those. That is telling us. So if you look at few 19,000, that is the base of the clouds or the ceiling. That view of 19,000 is where the clouds begin. And that's what the observation is telling us. And then we've got another layer of clouds a couple thousand feet up and then another layer of clouds. Finally, we've got temperature and dew point, which come in tandem. And remember, it's important to note that they're always measured in Celsius. And then we have the altimeter, which is a observation of pressure in the atmosphere. Uh, we'll go over another example in just a minute, but it's also important to note the METAR will always stay in the same process, meaning it will always follow the same pattern. The airport, the date and time, the winds, the visibility, the ceiling, temperature, dew point, and altimeter, they will always follow that same pattern. The next example comes from DFW Airport, home of American Airlines. This time I'm only going to highlight each section of the METAR and give you a few seconds to identify each portion before I give you the answer for deciphering it. Now I'll stop talking for this portion so you can focus in.
Thanks for taking the time to work through that exercise. The METAR is typically updated every hour for current conditions at an airport unless a SPECI or special METAR is added between the hourly updates for changing conditions. Remember, one of the fundamental roles of a dispatcher is to help the pilot in command be familiar with all weather at departure, in route, and destination stations, and the METAR is one of the best ways to do that. I hope you enjoyed this video about the METAR and why it's so important in aviation. For now, this is Pip signing off until next time.